Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Four-day work week. Gotta love it. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you feel, they're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 252, NASDAQ is up 259, S&P's up 63. That's a gain inside the indices, folks. So 7 tenths of 1% in the Dow, 1.3 in the S&P's, and 2.4 in the NASDAQ composite. Gold. Gold contract trading up $7.20 at 1931 an ounce. We have silver up 23 cents, $24.10 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 98 cents, $81.31 a barrel. Notes and bonds. Get the 10 year up 18 ticks, trading 115.02. The 30 year up a full point, plus seven ticks at 130.17. And King Dollar. King Dollar trading uh, flat. Oh, it's actually down 70 ticks, 101.9. Nine zero. The euro is at 108. The yen is trading at 129.51, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, it's going to get interesting here because what you're going to have... It's, uh, you know, option expiration gets your volume, and this is a higher market. You know, now the SPY hasn't shown it, okay? The Qs have. The SPY, you know, but listen, the SPY, we could do another 40 million shares coming into the close. We'll see how this shakes out. Right now, it's anemic, okay? You go, you're going into 99 million shares from the downdraft on Wednesday, and we're only at 61 million. Now, here's the divergence. The NDX100 has volume. The Qs have volume. The Qs are going into the same bar, and we did. We came. We're already at forty-seven thousand. So that's saying the Qs want to go, man. This is going to get interesting because, you know, now the bar that you're actually going into is going to bring you over there um, as we went down. But that's still only sixty-four million, folks. And what you're going to see out here today, we're going to in the, in the NDX one hundred, we're going to do that. We're going to do that number. So. That's telling me that this is going to go, the NDX, now here's the divergence. The NDX, the Qs are saying, okay, man, I'm going to go attack this swing high that was generated out here on the, what's that, the 19th, 17th of December? Yeah, so, no. Oh my God. i got to get these things closer to me. Um, 14th, must be 13th, 13th of December. The low of that is uh, the 285. The high swing there is 296. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here, 156,000 contracts. Now, this should be, should have been doing more contract volume here. You know, we've been, we've been averaging the 200,000. And so what you have here, you know, is the bottom line is that that's, that's not good, you know. But, but hey, listen, man, this is a big run. This, this is, it finishes ABC up. It's ABC up was 1895, you know. So... If you just go through it this week, Tuesday, you know, we had uh, 265,000. Wednesday, you had uh, 219. Yesterday, we had uh, 214 or at 156. So, And good old King Dollar. But he had a King Dollar. King Dollar didn't hold price again out here today. But you had King Dollar up, just couldn't handle price. Um, not a lot of movement, but the bottom line is that it's important movement because the longer the King Dollar stays out of the larger range, and the larger range starts at 103, you know, the 500 area, that's saying that hey, you can go lower and you can go a lot lower. That, there is, that, that's how this thing is shaking out. Let's take a look at some of the, yeah, well, here, and what's going to happen, let me just look at this for a second. So right now on the indices, 491, this is going to get interesting, man, to see uh, how this shakes out because, okay, so the, the composite has volume. It, this is going to, wow, the divergence is going to be big, man. So the divergence is that the NDX100, you know, bottom line, looks like it wants higher price, whereas the SPY doesn't, you know, so. And, you know, we can see that basically starting about nine days ago. That's kind of how this thing whole, whole was shaking out. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here in the market today you have, uh, come on, 
Oops, that's the wrong one. No, there it is. Yeah, you got Tesla up four and a half dollars. You got uh, Google up four and a half dollars. Amazon's up two and a half. You have uh, Netflix up twenty three. That's the winner. They come out with numbers last night. You have um, Coinbase up four. Let's go inside the NDX one hundred and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. So Netflix is up seven percent. You get Nvidia up six and a half percent. Zscaler is up 5.3. Taken away from it. AstraZeneca is down 1%. The rest of them, that's really small numbers, man. Inside the Dow Industrials, what you have, strength versus weakness out here. Point-wise, let's do it this way, okay. Point-wise, what we have, let's take a look. You got Microsoft leading the pack. That's putting 55 positive points. Salesforce, 32. American Express, 20. Big Mac, 28. Taken away from it. Goldman, minus 57. Johnson & Johnson minus six and a half. So I want to go to Microsoft here because Microsoft, man, this has been going up and down three to five dollars every day. Yeah, see, Microsoft doesn't have the juice either. But we'll see what happens in the close. 50 million, no, 30 million. Microsoft's not going to do 10 million coming into the close. And we go take a look at, I want to take a look at Amazon here. Yeah, Amazon doesn't have it either. You can see this. Look at this. You're down on 79 million. You're going up on 49 million. Google is, you know, yeah, all these big tech companies, you know, uh, bottom line, they're laying off, man. And Google's, in Google's case, the shareholders love it. You know, it's an ABC up. So you got, uh, let's see what this is, 93. No, oh, it's only seven bucks. It's probably already done it. Yeah, it's already done it. That's an ABC up, but. You know, there's, there's volume behind Google. There's no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 286. NASDAQ's up by uh, 277. S&Ps are up 68. We'll come right back.